One of the most commonly mispronounced words is pronunciation. It's not a crime to mispronounce a word, but repeating it over and over again is not advisable. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for supporting me this far. And I'm not going to repeat the same cliched introduction where I ask you to read the channel description. Of course, you can email me anytime if you have any queries. And um, coming to today's topic, yes, pronunciation, accent, you pronounced it wrong. By the way, have you ever been criticized for mispronouncing a word or for uh, not having a good accent, pronunciation and accent, they are two different words and two different ideas, but still have you been criticized? Of course, it happens with everyone. So before I begin today's topic, please watch this particular video because here I have given an introduction on the difference between pronunciation and accent. Many people think that they are one and the same. No, it's not like that. You need to know the difference. Pronunciation is mandatory. It is necessary. You should be able to pronounce a word properly while you're learning. But if you make a mistake, it's okay. It's not a crime. An accent is a choice. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a few points. And these points are totally different from the previous video, which was uploaded maybe last year, if I'm right. Please check out. And you need to watch all the other videos to get an idea of what could be expected from the channel and also about me. Okay, what is pronunciation? Pronunciation is the act of sounding a word. The way you give sound to a word, stress is also there, but still when you separately pronounce a word, the sound is important, right? Now, accent is, of course, specific to culture, country, region, Okay, so it's a combination of many things and pronunciation also gives you an idea of how the words are thrown. Articulation. Okay, articulation is more or less the, uh, the way you throw a word, the way you um, utter the word with clarity, all that is there. But still pronunciation, let's take that. And when you take a word separately, individually, when you pronounce the word separately, it's very easy to give attention to focus on each and every sound. Now, most of us refer Google when you have some confusion regarding pronunciation because Google is accessible and it's understandable by even the common man. You just have to type the word pronunciation and then you get to hear the word. Also, at the same time, you can see that every word is expanded so that you can read it. I've given an example there. Okay, so apart from that, you get three different uh, pronunciations. That is, one is American pronunciation, British pronunciation, and the Indian English pronunciation. All the three are accepted. There is something known as received pronunciation, but still all the three are accepted. And when you play the word with uh, the option, each option, you get to hear the word. You get to pronounce. You, you can also practice with Google. Now, that's for the common man. But the best way to understand pronunciation is through phonetics. We are not language learners. So we may not know anything about phonetics, how to really use it. So it's okay. But still, you can always use Google. Now, you should understand that when Google gives you the pronunciation of a word, that too, the word is separate. It stands as a separate entity. And of course, you have the meaning in your mind. And you get to hear the word. Okay, you listen to it very carefully and you repeat it. You should understand that when the same word is used in a sentence, there are chances that it sounds slightly different from the word when it stands alone. Okay, for example, when you use it in a sentence, there will be tone, there will be stress, the stress changes. Of course, the pronunciation is the same. And also, this particular word is a part of a sentence. So, the evolution of meaning is also there. It's part of a whole sentence. So, if it's a question, the tone changes. If it's a part of something that you have to express with emotion, it changes. So sometimes with pace, you may feel that it's slightly pronounced differently. Slight difference is there. That doesn't mean it's wrong. What is mispronunciation? 
when do you mispronounce a word or when do you say that a person has mispronounced a word when they give some other sound for example i'll give you examples for example this word k n o w you know it's no it's pronounced as no or no both are correct so when it's um uh, you know i'll give you the difference between all the types of pronunciation but no you cannot pronounce it as kno k is silent similarly when it comes to uh, other words like uh, d o u b t it's doubt not dubut or dubut b is silent so that is like mispronunciation apart from that uh, you can also have other words like this is honor not honor simple example english not english you know all about these and there are a lot of channels focusing on pronunciation mispronunciation is when you give a totally different sound and uh, it doesn't appeal i mean that's not the correct pronunciation that's not the way of to produce a sound that is how you have to understand distinguish between mispronunciation and pronunciation now coming to this particular topic when it stands individually separately there is a kind of sound that you give to it but when it's a part of a sentence when the word is a part of a sentence then there will be tone there will be stress there will be flow all such things come into action so you may feel that it's slightly different from how you listen to uh or on google or if you use a dictionary you will be understanding it better because you have phonetic phonetics there so you may feel that oh this word is slightly mispronounced it's not actually mispronounced the sound is different because there is flow i told you i gave you all the reasons now that is the first point when a word stands separately and when it's pronounced individually it may slightly sound uh, sound different from how it is pronounced as a part of a sentence okay now the second point is when it comes to the three types of pronunciation all the three are accepted let's take this example okay so when it's british pronunciation when you use british pronunciation it's pronounced as possible because britishers the native speakers they always stress on o a it's more stressed there's an emphasis er this kind of sounds are more there is more stress on such kind of sounds because that is the rhythm and that's the flow of their speaking that's a style okay when it's uh, when it's influenced by dialect it's different the rhythm is also different so you need to find out the meaning of this word dialect so pronunciation let's focus on that now when it's american pronunciation for the same word when you use that it's possible it is possible okay so there's a flow there and it's quite fast sometimes it's not fast possible there's a difference indian pronunciation possible possible flat all the three have got its own beauty each one has its own beauty so you can follow any one but when you use it in a sentence there are chances that the sound is slightly different and that's not mispronunciation when you uh, pronounce it separately maybe the sound is slightly different but when you use it in a sentence and if you're speaking fast the flow the kind of curve that you give to that particular word depending on the context and the situation could be different that doesn't mean that the person has uh, made a mistake there so mispronunciation is when you give a totally different sound to it okay now coming to the next point you can consider this as a sub point of the first one itself where you have to focus on the sound and not on the style every region will have a style now when you listen to a person you need to have all these points in mind and there are always technical sides to every language and you may not know it so before you point out before you criticize or before you correct a person always understand this background and it's not necessary to always follow the exact sound because your style is different your style should be different so style is important provided that you don't mispronounce the word giving a different sound the next point there are different type of learners there are different types of people okay whom you come across some people don't have the technical knowledge but they learn words very quickly they are uh, adaptable they grasp the pronunciation part very easily and also at the same time it's not wrong to correct others but 
you should always remember that you have to listen to the pronunciation again and again individually at the same time in a sentence that's why we ask you to read aloud and also to listen to different areas different topics because you will hear how the word is pronounced in different aspects through different contexts that's also very very important right now coming to the next point so uh, the next point is some people don't cross check we, we see such people around us uh, in the society where they don't cross check they also make lot of mistakes now when it comes to uh, advanced words when it comes to high level words whatever you want to call it um, there are chances that you pronounce it wrong it's okay because you're not familiar with it you have learned it wrong but you can always correct but when it comes to all these common words that we use during our daily conversation it is good if you can check the pronunciation before you correct others because some people know that they are making a mistake that they have got heavy mother tongue interference that is you you uh, pronounce the word uh, uh, just like the words pronounced in your mother tongue okay you have some of the syllables some of the words coming in between and interfering from your mother tongue whenever you speak in english that is mother tongue interference okay just to put it in my own words so you know that you have a problem but still there are some people who just go to the extent of correcting saying there is a mistake this is not what i listened on google okay that is because of the first point you you are giving too much of attention and some people are really very 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 conscious they're not cautious you can be cautious very conscious that they themselves make mistakes but they don't correct that or they don't take the effort um in correcting it but they point out mistakes so i don't think that's a very good attitude so before you correct someone before you criticize someone make sure that your basic knowledge is set right yeah and there are a lot of factors that could influence or affect your pronunciation it's always good to work on it because you know how the sounds are pro uh, produced when you mispronounce a word the whole word itself changes and the listener will not understand that's the point of having the right uh, pronunciation of a particular word but always remember the next point that accent is a choice it's not something that's mandatory but these days i find lot of students especially children and parents focusing on accent how can i get that accent and when a person speaks with an accent it doesn't mean that the person is very very good in the language accent is of course a choice it adds flavor color everything is added but don't be over uh, uh, you know over conscious uh, or also over confident because some children they use accent and they become so confident that they feel that they know everything that's not correct and as parents and teachers and as um, fellow students you need to correct such people in the sense just talk to them politely and make them understand that it's not just accent i have come across a lot of people like that and one more point i would like to give you one more point coming to accent and pronunciation don't be obsessed with all these things make sure that your sentences are proper make sure that people are able to understand you even if you have little bit of mother tongue interference don't be so conscious and spoil the beauty of your sentence because some people are efficient in conveying thoughts they are very good with communication skills without proper pronunciation but they are working on it but the sentences are so good so there are different aspects you can keep working on it and before you correct someone make sure that okay i listen to the word on google and these three different types of pronunciations it is given there but still if you listen to a canadian or somebody from new zealand maybe slightly the the tone will be different or maybe because of their style something will be different but that doesn't mean they have mispronounced the word okay just like how you pronounce your own words in your own native tongue so flow is there intonation is there stress is there i've given you different examples just winding off the video with one more um example and um that could be this particular word so when you pronounce using the british pronunciation not accent the pronunciation you could pronounce this word as digital digital so t uh, as i told you in the first point these sounds are stressed okay that's the rhythm and the style but when it comes to american pronunciation digital digital okay digital so even if it's not fast it's not the pace it's digital 
digital and digital. So t, such kind of, you know, uh, j, all these kind of sounds are not stressed. That's what you need to understand. Indian, digital. Flat, but that's also correct. I hope you get the difference. You don't have to listen to all the three types of pronunciation, but it's good if you could and follow one. And if you mix also the pronunciation, like one word is in British, one word is in American, it's okay, you are learning. Okay, and if you don't use any particular pronunciation, but you're able to give the sound properly, that is also acceptable. Don't be obsessed with pronunciation in such a way that you make yourself sound like a foreigner. No, it's not like that. We have got Indian English also and beautiful people speak. You have people speaking in their own style across the world. I'm using all these regions because uh, people are more concerned there and they try to copy, imitate. So when it comes to the other parts of the world, when you look at uh, Canadians, when you look at Africans speaking English, of course, there are chances that they mispronounce words. All of us, even I, I do mispronounce words, but still the sound, I give importance to the sound. Whether I am using some other drastic sound, that is more important. Okay, so such kind of um, points, technical points will definitely help you to learn a word better. At the same time, when the word is expanded, on Google, uh, sometimes it could mislead you. And some people go to the extent of arguing, saying when the word is expanded as this, you know, I've, see, I've given it on the screen, they expand the word so that you can read it. Apart from the spelling of the word, they give it phonetically with the sound, okay, so that you will understand the sound in a better way without using the symbols. So you need to listen to that word also, which is equally important. So before criticizing, before getting discouraged or before feeling down, before losing hope um, uh, in the English language and always giving that air of attitude. See, this particular language has got no horns. Only people give to give horns to the language. It's a very simple, natural, beautiful language, complicated yet beautiful in its own way, just like your mother tongue. Don't get obsessed. Just be free. Be relaxed. And just be comfortable. Stay positive. Thank you for listening to me.